Namaste guys, Rajesh here for Namaste Tech and in this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload the Oxygen OS 3.2 update on a OnePlus 3. The update was just released by OnePlus and among other things, it introduces an sRGB mode for the display and improves the RAM management thereby leading to better multitasking performance. So before we begin with the steps, there are two things that you must know. First, your OnePlus 3 must be running the stock build of Oxygen OS and should not be rooted. Second, I'm assuming that you already have ADB and Fastboot set up on your PC. If not, I have linked to the guides in the description below which you can follow to set them up. So the first thing that you need to do is download the Oxygen OS 3.2 OTA update file from the link given in the description below. Next, you need to boot your OnePlus 3 into recovery mode. There are multiple ways of doing it, but the easiest way is to enable the advanced reboot option present under the hidden developer options menu. Once enabled, long press the power button to bring the power menu, tap on reboot and select recovery. Tap on ok when prompted. Once your OnePlus 3 boots into recovery, tap on the English language option. Now switch over to your PC and rename the Oxygen OS update file to oxygenos.zip. Then proceed to open command prompt or terminal and then type in adb space sideload space oxygenos.zip. Before you press enter, connect your OnePlus 3 to your PC and then select the install from adb option on the screen. Then press enter in the terminal or command prompt window and then wait for the update to be sideloaded to your handset after which the installation procedure will automatically start. In case you get a file not found error, you can simply type in adb space sideload and then drag and drop the Oxygen OS zip file to the command prompt or terminal window. If you get a device not found error, simply replug your device to your PC. The whole installation procedure will easily take up to 10 minutes. Once done, you will have to manually restart your device by tapping on the reboot option. The first reboot after installing the update can take its own sweet time, but there's nothing to worry about. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it. Do hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.